Well, I've got my review of the Vestman Atelier new matte lipsticks. You guys, this is highly anticipated. Many of you requested it. I hauled these during the Sephora Spring Savings event and I told you guys that I would give you an update of each and every product I bought from the Sephora sale and I just did a massive update video giving you updates of majority of the products that I bought from the Sephora sale. If you missed it, catch it. I will link it down in the description box. But I did tell you that I will bring you mini reviews of some of the collections, you know, like the Tom Ford Soleil collection, which I also just reviewed, by the way, if you missed that, catch it. And then I told you I would bring you the review of the Best Min Atelier lipsticks and the product collection, which will be up next. So if you want to find out my thoughts on the formula and the colors, how they wear and all that good stuff, Continue to watch. Hey beauties, welcome back to another fabulous luxury makeup review. In this video, I'm going to do a very quick review of the new Westman Atelier matte lipsticks. I'm gonna give you my 411 on the formula, how they wear, um, the colors and all that good stuff. So let me show you the packaging first. So this is the carton and here's the component. This is actually the same size as the Westman Atelier highlighters and the contour sticks if you're familiar with them. And yeah, so the lipstick looks a little thick, you know, a little fat. And these, I gotta say, these uh, magnetic closures are pretty strong. Actually, even while they're in the cartons, the, the magnetic power of kind of is at work. Anyway, so let me go ahead and show you how each of these colors look. I'm gonna apply them here in front of you in the studio lighting here indoors. Then I'm gonna do cutaways to the natural daylight swatches on my lips application in the natural daylight which I think is very important because they look different in daylight. I got four shades right here out of how many shades did they release? I want to say eight, eight or ten. But anyway, I got I got four shades which is quite a lot. So what I have here are La Rouge which is a beautiful bright tomato red here I will in a second show you how it goes on my lips how it looks on my lips and then I have another um, more strawberry kind of bright red which is right here it's called pip so this is pip and then I have two kind of mauve pinky colors the first one is a Jerev, which is a true mauve it's a cool toned mauve nude kind of shade right there and then i have a little bit more pink leaning mauve it's called pk which is right here these two are both kind of cool in undertones i want to say so let me go ahead and swatch them for you this is what they look like i just love them all the only color that's not as flattering on my skin tone is Jarev because Jarev is a real cool toned nudie mauve which I think will be more flattering on super fair skin complexions than kind of tan complexions but I gotta tell you these two red colors are just oh, absolute chef's kiss on my skin tone and actually PK is quite nice on me too because it's pink leaning it's cool tone and it's mauve but it leans pink okay so let's jump right on to applying each of these colors actually what i have on my lips right now in this video is pk so it's the the more pinky mauve um so let me take this off and let's one by one apply each of these lipsticks here in front of you in the indoor lighting and then i'll do cutaways for each lipstick to natural daylight application okay let's start with the two mauve shades, mauve leaning shades. Okay, so I have here Je Rêve and Piquet. So I'm gonna start with Piquet. 
So guys, I gotta tell you, I can't get over how awesome these magnetic caps are. They lock right into place. So this is PK. Okay, so let me show you a swatch which never looks the same as it does on the lips. So that's PK. And I'm going to go ahead and put it on. Here's PK. PK is a mauve with cooler undertones, neutral to cool undertones. So yeah, that's PK. And here is the natural daylight application of PK. As you guys can see, you know, in the natural daylight, you can really see the undertones of that color really, really well. Okay, I took PK off and now we have Je Rêve. Let's, again, I love the magnetic caps. So here is a Je Rêve. It's even mauvier, like the first color PK had a little bit of a pinky undertone. So Je Rêve is actually even a truer mauve than PK. It also has cool undertones. So that is Je Rêve next to Pique. Let me try it on. Mauve nude, a true cool mauve nude. This will look probably better on lighter complexions than it does on my tan complexion. It doesn't look bad on me, but it makes me look a little, little dead. This is probably not the best color to complement my particular skin tone. Okay, out of the two red colors, there's this bright tomato red that is called La Rouge. That is my favorite out of all the lipstick shades that I got. This has got to be my absolute favorite. So let me swatch it right here. So yeah, that is La Rouge, the red one that I just swatched. This is like the most beautiful bright tomato red. Really brightens up my face. Let me put it on. There you go. It's bright like the sun very tomato kind of summery red. This is great for spring summer seasons. Mm. Love the way it looks. And here is the natural daylight application of this color La Rouge. As you guys can see, it's really beautiful in the natural daylight. Ok, 
Okay, then we're gonna try on the last shade that I have, which is Pip. Pip is a darker red, but yet still it's kind of like bright in a way, um, as you can see. So I'm gonna swatch it right next to La Rouge so you guys can see the difference. So Pip has a bit of a strawberry pinky undertone. La Rouge has more of a warm red yellow undertone. Undertone strawberry red. Very bright and very summery. Bright red. But in a pinky kind of strawberry way. What do I think of the formula? Let me first tell you about the formula. So the formula is not a true matte. I don't think we can ever have like a true matte because true matte lipsticks are super drying to the lips and they don't make your lips look plump and you know, pouty the way these look. These give the lips a very kind of hydrated, plumped, look even though they're matte technically matte formulas i would say this is more of a moisturizing velvety matte formula i would even go as far as to say it leans more satin there was one youtuber one of the big youtuber tubers who said that it feels grainy to her which i thought was really weird which it doesn't but i will say that it has this sort of I don't know how to describe it. It has like an oily kind of, um, not a slip, like oil kind of, like a, not oil, but like a, a, a little bit of a slip to it. You know, like right there, if you can see, I don't know if you can see, do you see that, that tip of my lipstick right there? It, it kind of looks like a powder in a way, like a creamy powder. So maybe that's where she's getting that from, like that powder slipping around in that kind of, oil base. By oily I mean there's some sort of like emollient liquid in there. So these lipsticks are supposed to be infused with hyaluronic acid and peptides which is really good for your lips obviously and they're supposed to be hydrating which they are. So like I said this is a very hydrating sort of almost plumping type of formula that is not really a true matte. It's more of a satiny, velvet, matte-ish finish with lots of moisture in the formula. So that person, when, when this YouTuber said that they feel grainy, what she probably meant was, like I said, I showed you the tip of this lipstick. I don't know if you can see it. That, uh, yeah, do you, you see that right there in the very tip? That there's like a little bit of like a powder powder in a kind of a emollient solution kind of feel to it so maybe that's what she means by that it's supposed to plump lips and smooth lines which i will say it does it, it like really gives this sort of plump pouty kind of look to the lips and definitely smoothes lines it doesn't settle into lines on your lips it's supposed to be like a nourishing lipstick that is you know vivid in color which i agree that does not feather hyaluronic acid is supposed to grab moisture and hold on to it and kind of plump and this is supposed to have like meadow form extract too which is supposed to also add to the nourishment it's nourishing and conditioning like 
gives conditioning to the lips and help like seal moisture in just kind of like hyaluronic acid you know how it brings moisture in and it's supposed to have carolyn clay which is supposed to like mattify without drying and prevents uh, feathering that maybe the powderiness that i'm describing that feels like slipping around in like some sort of like emollient solution is probably the kaolin clay and the solution i'm talking about is probably the hyaluronic acid and the other ingredients in there in a kind of an emollient uh, solution with the clay so i think it's quite innovative but i you know i don't think i've ever had a, a lipstick that has kaolin clay in it definitely gives like that full look full lip look to your lips absolutely love these lipsticks yeah guys if you're wondering what that is i burnt myself on the oven trying to put a pizza in anyway so yeah i really like these lipsticks i'm glad i grabbed several of them during the sephora vib sale which you get 20 percent off if you're a rouge member like me what's the verdict love them and they are long wearing they do last and i would say they are a really really good formula i'm going to probably grab a few more shades from the next sephora uh, sale coming up in november the fall sale all right you guys what do you think about this lipstick formula do you have any did you grab some snatch some during the sephora spring savings event do you plan to get some what are your thoughts? What colors do you have if you have them? Let me know your experience with wearing these. Um, I would love to know what you guys think of this formula. I find it to be long lasting and it leaves a, a bit of a stain on the lips once you remove uh, the lipstick, but it doesn't you know, cling on forever. Like you can just kind of remove your makeup with a makeup remover and then it goes away. But yeah, I find it to be a beautiful, beautiful formula. I really, really, really love the way they make my lips look super plump and pouty. Yeah, and I love that Kaolin Clay thing for sure. Um, it's got to be good for your lips and not like damaging in any way or drying and, you know, get the shriveled up lips after wearing some bad lipstick. You know what I mean? That's not going to happen with these for sure. Chime down in the comment section your thoughts on this new lipstick formula from Westmin Atelier. I love their highlighters. I have their contour sticks. I, was, I just had my highlighter here, which is what I use to, to apply them. I have quite a few for products from this, um, this company. I really like their makeup, their high quality. So I hope you enjoyed this video, you guys. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Check out those videos that I just uploaded before this video of the Sephora sale product updates. And then of course the Tom Ford Soleil collection review. Must see videos, don't miss them. The next one coming up is going to be a Prada collection review. The new Prada foundation, the new Prada lipsticks, the soft matte and the hyper matte. And of course the new eye quads. I am very much excited to share my thoughts with you on those which I have been trying those products out. Make sure to head on over to my other fragrance channel, Salon Clio, where I review a lot of fragrances and I have some beauty content on it and some fashion content. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys want me to do fashion content on this channel? This is the cute dress I'm wearing today. You can't see it, it's short. It's super, super cute. I would love to do a sort of a fashion haul and do like you know wear them and do like little fashion shots do you guys want to see something like that let me know down in the comment section i will see you guys in my next video